everyone. Um, it is Thursday, May 24th, and my original Locks of Love cutoff date was going to be Saturday, May 26th, but my weekend got filled up unexpectedly, and um, for once I actually have plans. So I decided tomorrow, after work at 4 o'clock, I'm going to cut my hair. And I thought that I would do my before, and um, I'm getting kind of nervous, to be honest, because I haven't had a cut in like three or four years. I've just been trimming it and growing it for this cause, so I'm kind of getting jittery about it. I know what my hair looks like at my shoulders, I like it at that length, but I've kind of grown attached to my hair, but it also annoys me at the same time. But this is my before. And I've had it up pretty much all day because it has been like 80, 85 degrees and it was humid and all that other good stuff. But this is how long it is right now. This is my before. Oh. And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to miss it very much because I have a bad habit. I always do this when I'm like sitting in traffic or when I'm at work. I like to play with it and braid it. But, um... The thing I keep telling myself mainly is that it's going to grow back. It's not like I'm cutting it off and never getting it back. And it's also for such a great cause. And I can't wait to give my hair to someone who will actually love having it and it won't annoy them like it has been doing me. And um, this is my before, like I said. So tomorrow after 4 o'clock I'm going straight to the hair cuttery. And one of my friends from high school, she's a stylist there. She's going to be cutting it for me, which is going to be weird because my mom is a cosmetologist and she has always been the one to cut my hair. I have never, ever been to a hair salon and got my hair did. I've n like not even a trim, not even a cut, color, anything. And um, I don't plan on ever actually dyeing my hair with real dye. I might do washout dye or wash out sprays. I will never dye my hair. I love being a real natural blonde and just to donate to this cause to give them real blonde hair makes it even more better. And anyone out there that has hair that's natural and you're growing it, grow it for a cause like this because they will appreciate it so much. And um, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. And I'm probably going to have a restless sleep tonight because of it, but I'm excited and nervous at the same time. So, I will definitely post another video. And it will be with shorter hair. I'm so nervous. Alright. You filmed it off? Yep. You sure it's on? Yeah. Ready? Go for it. I'm more excited than anything. Hello everyone. I finally cut my hair for Locks of Love. Um, I'm sorry that this video took forever to be posted. I was having so many technical difficulties with my laptop, my internet, my camera, the cord to the camera, everything was going wrong. But anyways, yes, I cut it. I donated two ponytails that were 12 inches long a piece, and it was my first time I killed two things off my bucket list. I went into a salon and got stuff done. And I also donated my hair to Locks of Love, which I do plan on doing in the near future. Um, I'm going to keep it this length for a while and then eventually grow back out and donate it again. Um, for those of you who are thinking of donating to this wonderful cause, when you go into the hair place, the girl that was going to do mine, she was my best friend in high school, um, she already had the paper there that I could fill out and everything, but I was one step ahead of her. I went to uh, the Locks of Love website and I printed it out. This is what it looks like. There's a sponsor form, but I don't have $1,000, and I didn't know you could donate, but next time I will save up $25 to donate, and you can write, you know, comments, and of course I wrote, I'm so happy to be doing this, I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> I was so excited, and um, yeah, this is it. Um, shower time used to be like right around 15 minutes, now it's like in and out.
literally. I just run water, shampoo, conditioner, and I'm done. And it's just crazy. Um, I definitely do plan on donating it again. I was so anxious sitting in that chair waiting to hear her, like, snip it. And as you guys saw my face, I was just like, oh, my gosh. But my mom went. She teared when she started cutting it. And I was just like, Mom, it's going to grow back. It's going to someone who actually wants to have long hair. I'm tired of having long hair. And, um, of course, I want to thank all of you guys for following me on this journey. I can't believe I finally actually did it. The day before... I was just like, do I really want to do this or should I grow it longer, but what the hell, you only live once, right? I'm very happy that I did it, I feel wonderful about doing it. Oh, and the next day, the neighbor across the street from my dad, um, she came and hugged me and she was, she's a cancer survivor for four years now, her breasts are fake, and um, her sister just died from the cancer that she has survived. And she has a new lump on her back, and she's scared to go get that biopsy. But anyways, um, she thanked me, and she was just like, you know, my sister went through chemo, and she had to buy these really expensive wigs. And when the guy told me that that's what you had done with your hair when you told him the other day, I just started crying, and I just wanted to thank you. So later on in June, at her church, they are having a cancer event, and she wanted to ask me if she could light a torch in my name for donating to that cause. And... I said, of course, you know, I'm honored that she would want to do that, and, you know, I feel like I'm changing the world one charity cause at a time, and I hope I inspire others to help out others, because I love helping other people, and donating, and doing fundraisers, I just love it, there's no better way for me to spend my spare time, and thank you guys for following me, I'm sorry this took forever to be put up, but... I finally got those technical difficulties fixed, so thank you for following me. You can leave questions, comments, whatever, um, and I guess now my new journey is just going to be the exercise slash eating healthy, dieting, losing weight thing, so you can follow me on that too, or you can leave if you want, but thank you guys so much, and I will make a new video soon.